Hello. <laughs> Hi. My name is Molly, and I'm in the Urban Education Doctoral Program here with a uh, focus in curriculum and instruction. And my name is Kelly, and I'm also a doc student here in the Urban Education Doctoral Program, also focusing in curriculum and instruction. And we wanted to talk to you about a conference that we attended last weekend, um, and well, specifically with how it relates to what we've been learning about in 715, specifically about professional development. So here we go. So Kelly and I are part of a uh, research team here at UW-Milwaukee that received a grant to do culturally relevant research, scholarship, and facilitation in the Milwaukee Public School District over the next few years. Um, and so how that relates to the conference this past weekend is we got to go and represent that team. Uh, we traveled down to Indiana, to University of Indiana Bloomington, the Hoosiers, and we spent Friday through Sunday uh, at the School of Education there. Um, all day uh, sessions, various different types, which we're going to get into. And it was an international conference. And so you can see all the countries that were represented there. Um, it was, I don't know if it was half United States and half other, but um, there was a, a diverse mix. So we're just going to get into the types of presentations that we attended and what we noticed about each one. So at our conference, there was six types of presentations, um, panel presentations, individual papers, roundtable discussions, interactive workshops, poster sessions, and keynote speakers. So we're going to go through um, each one one by one and really talk about um, the PD experience um, from our standpoint. So the first presentation we want to talk about is the individual papers presentation. Um, during this type of presentation, the researcher gives a 20-minute presentation on their um, research topic, and then there's 10 minutes for questions from the conference. Um, attendees at the end. Um, some people read straight from their paper, um, other people had PowerPoint presentations, um, and it really was a chance for them to go in depth about their methodology um, and their findings and really give like an in-depth overview of all of their um, research. This is the type of presentation that we actually presented on, and we had a PowerPoint with all of our findings and methodology and all of that good stuff. And if I may add in, um, how we how we plan it is that each of us kind of took different sections to prepare and then we like peer reviewed one another and decided what to add, what to cut, and why. So our group knew exactly who was talking and when. Not every group had that uh, that that setup, but but all similar with um, being led by the slides, either reading straight off of them or not. I, I will say the biggest positive about this type of PD experience is that if it's something that you're very, very interested in, you do get that in-depth detail and understanding of the topic. It's really just a lot of information thrown you at, at you at one time, which is beneficial if you're really trying to go in-depth with a topic for your own research. So the next type of workshop was an interactive workshop. Um, this kind of reminded me almost of like a high school class setup, if you will. So the researcher has, you know, done their research, but they have um, maybe like a learning theory or some type of system or process that they want you to understand how to do. So they basically present like, okay, here's the big overview of this, and now we're going to actually do it. So it really gives you the chance to move beyond theory and put things into practice. So I went through one where we were doing um, blackout poetry, and instead of just lecturing us about how to do blackout poetry, we were actually given, you know, some literature, and we had to black out the words ourselves and create our own poem. So it really gave you that hands-on experience of how I can actually implement this in my classroom if I wanted to um, do this going forward. So this would be really great for like districts who want to roll out a big professional development, you know, like a learning theory or something like that. And they really want teachers to understand how to do it, not just what it is. Another type of presentation that was available at the conference was something called a panel presentation or a panel discussion. And this is a type of presentation that had that featured like several scholars. The session I went to was two hours long and there were three separate scholars who weren't necessarily affiliated with each other, but they were 
taking turns sharing their research surrounding a similar topic. Um, so the one I went to was kind of the intersection of language and thought and culture and that relationship. And it was all on um, implementing literacy-oriented curriculum in three modern Greek classrooms. So each, each scholar was um, from a different university, but they were all researching similar topics. Um, so they each took a turn presenting, about a half an hour each. The audience members, um, it was pretty, there wasn't a lot of interaction with the audience, except for at the end, where the audience members could ask questions after all three presenters had finished. So another type of um, PD experience, if you will, at the conference <laughs> was the roundtable discussion. Um, so in the roundtable discussion, the researchers presented their research, but it wasn't just them talking at us and telling us what you know their findings were in their methodology. It was really meant to facilitate discussion between the participants and really get us thinking about the topic at hand. Um, and this conversation was really led by the conference participants and was guided by the researchers' findings. Um, so it kind of reminded me almost like, you know, when we do readings for class and then we have a class discussion, like there's those guiding questions, but really the awesome learning experience is hearing everybody's input and thoughts, um, and it really was a robust discussion. Another type of session was the poster sessions. Um, the researchers had a, basically like a poster overview of their research and their research findings. And um, they had them up in like a little concourse area so people could kind of like, you know, weave through them and glance at them like at their wishes. Um, and they were actually left off all through the conference, um, but the researchers were only there for like two hours um, during the poster session. So um, one really positive thing about this was that it really allowed you to interact with the researcher one on one if you were very interested in the topic. You could really ask them specific questions, you know. Um, or if it wasn't really your thing, you could just kind of glance at it and nod and smile and move on. <laughs> the last type of presentation that was available at the conference were the keynote speakers. There were three keynotes. Um, sometimes these are like some of the people that really, I don't know, draw the crowds for the conferences. Um, they're pretty well known. There were three keynotes, one that spoke on each of the days of the conference. Each one spoke for about an hour. These are advanced researchers, distinguished scholars. Um, one was a professor emerita. Um, they're very well respected um, academics, and they present on a specific aspect of their research. So while what they're talking about may be very specific and may not necessarily relate exactly to what you're doing, they're going to go through their whole process with you. Um, like Kelly was saying earlier, their research question, their methodology, their findings, all of that, how they did it, and why. And that's the part that's going to be very helpful to you as a researcher, and especially us as we get started out with um, learning how to do research and navigate that whole thing. Um, so as you can expect, uh, we were in like an auditorium, large conference room setting, the chairs were in rows, there was a slideshow PowerPoint, um, but one of the keynotes that we went to, even though she had slides, she, she was extremely well versed in her research area, of course, because she's the one leading it. So she really, you know, didn't read off of her slides very much. And, um, I think she had she had some other audio visuals as well. She had a video that her um, I don't remember if she was working with a grant or what it was, but there was some audio visuals, some talking, some stuff on slides. But she she tried to mix it up a little bit. All right. So as we get ready to conclude our presentation, um, I we just want to do a couple of our own takeaways and kind of the big picture, and then how this experience relates to what we've been learning in seven fifteen. Um, so I, well, I'll say my favorite style of presentation were the paper presentations. And I don't think I'd normally say this except for that we were in kind of more intimate settings. Our audience wasn't ginormous. I really liked that the speakers had 20 minutes and then 10 minutes of Q&A and then it cycled through to the next round and the next round. I thought that, I don't know, it, it allows you to get deep into something you get a little taste of it, ask some clarifying questions and some questions that might relate to how you're thinking through your own work and get like this, this immediate feedback. Uh, so I, I really preferred that and I liked that like it was interesting to go to a conference through the lens of you know how like as teachers going to 
you know, content PD or general PD in their schools, you know, what type of learning styles are they coming with? What type of modalities of receiving information do they want to choose? And I know Kelly has some more to say about that. Um, my favorite sessions was actually the poster session um, because, you know, we've talked a lot in this class about how teachers really need to have opportunities to have meaningful, like, relevant professional development when they have those experiences, like, their learning grows, which then makes their students learning grow. And I really found that to be true for me in the poster sessions. Like, if something wasn't relevant for me, I could just, like, oh, great job, and, like, move on. Um, but I found a couple of researchers whose research was, like, right up my alley and I spent you know 10 minutes talking to somebody who was an expert on this topic and it was like really inspiring and kind of like informed the way I'm even thinking about my dissertation um, so it really allowed me um, to have that like meaningful professional development experience and me and Molly discussed that that's kind of how the whole conference was set yeah. up you know you could you could pick and choose your sessions that you wanted to go to based on what was interesting to you and if you didn't like the paper sessions well you didn't have to go to a paper session because every time slot had paper sessions and roundtable discussions and you know, there was a whole bunch of different ways that you could receive the information and you could really tailor it to make it relevant to you. Yeah. You so, uh, with that, it was, this was, like on a personal note, this was both of our first uh, academic, like scholarly conferences. I, I had been to um, like secondary ed, you know, K-12 type of teacher conferences before and presented at those, but this was like leveling up. Level. <laughs> it was yeah, so it was eye-opening. It was extremely, like, supportive. The the participants, the other colleagues, there was never anyone that was asking questions about, like, oh, you know, oh, gotcha, like, what did you forget right there? It, there was none of that. And what, what I learned from our our faculty that, that went along on the trip with us is that this is a, the, the conference setting, the academic conference setting, is for researchers to kind of test out um, how they're presenting their information and stuff before they maybe submit a manuscript or something for publication. So it's it's totally like a collegial, like coaching, like supportive environment. So I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And I think that's what this class is all about is how do we create professional development experiences that are meaningful and relevant and supportive to the individual teacher or researcher's tasks. So yeah. So thanks for watching and um, we will see you maybe just online or otherwise. <laughs> thanks guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>